Hey y'all, it's meteorologist Erica Lopez and I'm so excited to bring you today's science experiment and we're going to be making it rain today. So a couple of materials that you're gonna need is a plate and this one of course, cloud shape, it's gonna act like our cloud, a glass jar and it has to be glass in order for this to work, a cup of hot water, be careful as you touch it, it might be a little bit hot and don't burn yourself. And then you're gonna need some ice. So what you're gonna need to do is pour a little bit of the hot water in. So you're gonna do this very carefully and you wanna pour it in about two inches, a little bit less than halfway. And then what you wanna do is put the plate on top of the jar, and then you're gonna add the ice on top of the plate. And what you're gonna notice is gonna to start to happen is you're gonna to start to get a little bit of that condensation around the cup. What this essentially is doing is the hot water is acting like the warm air in the atmosphere, warm air rises and then condenses. Once it condenses, that's when you're starting to get uh, those water droplets, essentially the rain. And what this plate acts as is the cold air in the atmosphere. That's why we put the ice on it. And essentially those water droplets are all rain. Let's explain a little bit of the water cycle in this process that you saw visually. Now let's show you in this graphical illustration. So you get collection, so that's just the water in either the ocean, the lakes, ponds, whatever you can get uh, water and evaporation from. Eventually, of course, the sun heating up the water and then making the warm air rise, which we get evaporation and then condensation. This could be in the form of clouds, just like we saw in the glass jar there. And eventually condensation, once the cloud gets heavy, you're gonna to start to get those water droplets. So that's the rain, the precipitation in form of, like I said, rain or even snow. And eventually falling right back down into uh, our water here, which could be the ocean. And then we repeat the cycle once and once again. And this is how we get rain. Hope you had fun learning a little bit about the water cycle with me and making it rain in a jar. We're gonna be bringing you much more science experiments. So make sure you're checking them out on our channel. If you like our content, let me know in the comment section or maybe even science experience you would like to see. So we're going to have the list of materials you're going to need in the description box below. Let me know in the comment section if you're going to try this at home. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the science experiment and follow us all across the social media platforms. Follow My Radar on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.